What's up guys, Billy Nguyen here with a different type of video today. Now today's video is going to be a top five things that I learned in college. I really wanted to make this video because college is a part of my life that I'm in right now so I thought I would kind of share my experience with you guys and a lot of you guys that are watching can probably relate to this video or maybe you guys just graduate high school and you're off to college and you don't really know what to expect. So let's kick it off with number one. Morning classes. Now for those of you that may think that you are a morning person, uh, college is going to test that theory. My first semester at college I had three 7.30 a.m. classes and I can tell you they were so brutal. I didn't want to go to those classes. At the beginning it wasn't that bad but once you get towards the end of the semester it's just gonna drag on so much. On top of the fact that I do commute, just that extra time that it takes to get to school and park and all that stuff. But even if you do live on campus your first semester, you should not take 7.30 classes. I would say at the earliest, probably 9 a.m., even though that's still pushing it. That might seem pretty late for some morning people, but once you're in college, it's gonna test that theory of you being a morning person. Number two, using a calendar and planner is essential for your success. Now, when I was in high school, I always used my planner, but I didn't really use it to its full capabilities. Now, when you're in college, there's you have multiple different classes and the professors give you a syllabus with all the exams on it, so you can't come to them with an excuse like, oh, I didn't know there was an exam today. So I would recommend using a calendar. I write down every single test that I have right at the beginning of the semester when I get the syllabus. So there's no like surprises throughout the semester. Now I use three calendars. One, I have a calendar that I physically write on and then I have a whiteboard in my room and then I also use the one on my phone just for like safety, just so I know like, okay, this is gonna happen this day. And All right, so this is the calendar that I used throughout my second semester freshman year. I didn't really start taking my calendar like that seriously until my second semester but what I would suggest which I haven't done here is you guys should color coat you guys should color coat like different subjects in your calendar so say like an exam is like bright red so you know like okay this is serious and maybe like miscellaneous activities like hanging out with friends you could do like purple or something and just like color coat different things so then you know like on a scale of like whatever your skill is, like how important to you they are. Number three, be open to new people and experiences. I cannot stress how important this is to making new friends because um, when I was in high school or just, I feel like any high school culture is you kind of judge people for who they are. And I kind of carried that into my first semester of college. So when, before I would even meet someone, I kind of prejudged them. Then once I actually got to know some people that I kind of prejudged as not that wouldn't be my friend they ended up being like the coolest people I've ever met so be open to new people and experiences especially if you are an incoming freshman everyone there is in the same boat you are they're all there to meet new people but it's just hard to break out of your shell so it is easier said than done but I know that you guys can do it number four now this tip is kind of contradictory to number three of what I just said about being open to new people but number four is be careful of who you trust now being in college and not having a lot of real-world experiences a lot of companies will take advantage of that and they'll try to take advantage of you by promising you things that aren't really true and you can get involved in some pretty bad stuff so be careful about who you trust just Trust your gut, trust your instincts. If something doesn't feel right, then it probably isn't right. Number five, get involved. I cannot stress how important this is, especially if you are a commuter or if you do live on campus. Getting involved is so crucial to meeting new people. College isn't just getting an education and then going off into the real world. It's making new lifelong friends, experiences, and it's just really, crucial time in your life and you guys should cherish it so get involved in things this isn't high school anymore where people are going to judge you for getting involved people love it when you get involved and you're going to enjoy your experience more at college if you do get involved so can't stress this enough get involved in something what's up guys really new in here back at you <clears throat> number three be open to people We're all in college, like, 
Meh.